Hello, my name is Rodolfo Hernandez, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix auto identity in SQL Server 2012. Okay, I'm going to create a database and a, a table with a column with identity, and I'm going to insert some rows. As you can see, the identity is increased by one. Now I'm going to restore the server and insert two rows more. Okay, now it jumps by a thousand. Okay, now I'm going to drop the database and create a new database with a table with without identity and create a sequence. Okay, this is the code for the sequence. It has to be an int and increment by one. This is the code for the insert and as you can see we use next value for ID sequence. That's the name of the sequence that we just create. I exit you many times right now, that way we can see that the sequence is increasing. We just select from data, that's the name of our table. And use Arabic the name of the database. That's the way there is going to work in what's the panel in Arabic. But if you are working in uh, your local server, you can end this line of code that is minus T two seven two in the startup parameters in your SQL Server Configuration Manager. And that's it. Uh, that's the two ways that you can fix the jump of that column identity. Thank you for watching us here in Alrix.